Hi, welcome to the BFN and our exclusive series called the Blockchain Buzz. Here at Business Financial Network, we are committed to keeping our viewers in the know and helping you learn how to make money by educating our subscribers on undiscovered brand new asset classes, updates, and emerging issuers in the world's markets. Stay tuned as we share an up and coming innovation in the ever changing and expanding blockchain economy. Thank you to all of our friends, viewers, and live trading community that have been benefiting along with us as the channel grows to over 7,000 subscribers. Remember, all information being shared is for educational and entertainment purposes. To keep winning though, you need to keep on watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. I'll see you on the other side. Good day, good evening. Good morning, good afternoon. This is Roger, Roger Chowdhury, signing in at the BFN, the Business Financial Network. In our exclusive series, The Blockchain Buzz, we're going to get into the crypto craze that's literally trading 24-7, 365 days a year, and taking the world by storm. At first glance, when people look at Ethereum, most ask, is that a new mineral or metal that we haven't discovered yet? In short, no, it's one of the most traded blockchain assets on various exchanges around the globe. And this summer, it's getting an improvement. The Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559 essentially is a way of flipping the blockchain transaction fees. These fees are based on the demand of the token at the time and are currently going to miners. In February 2021, Ethereum miners had $1.3 billion in revenue with 50% of that coming from transaction fees or what they call gas fees setting a record. And as you can see here, this is a graph of fees. And you can see here way at the end here, right here. This is February 2021. So the initiative is supposed to help address this. While miners aren't happy, this allows developers to improve user interface design. And on a broader scale, there's a huge NFT boom. Non-fungible tokens are currently helping athletes, musicians and artists alike create content that is considered a digital asset that cannot be copied. And tech investors are pumping millions into these NFT startups. Most NFTs live on the Ethereum blockchain. This is where people are now realizing those same transaction fees are an added cost to the purchase price of any digital asset that they want to buy. Demand is currently overwhelming supply in terms of bandwidth and fee structure. So this initiative is set for July 2021. The real question is, will this make Ethereum more user friendly, attract more participants, and will it lower fees? Possibly. Currently, it's hard to determine as there's only a suggested fee along with every transaction. Usually you're always overspending and with EIP 1559, that will be more clearly defined versus being the wild, wild west. First time users are currently paying twice or more when it comes to fees. So that will be much clearer and people can make more informed choices. Fees will still relatively be higher than last year as the scaling of the Ethereum network out of sheer growth of the blockchain is an issue that 2.0 hopefully will address along with user experience issuers. So this all seems pretty confusing. Is it as simple as making the miners tips optional? Is that why they're unhappy? Well, traditionally miners get two rewards. They get a base subsidy for mining the block, and then they also get all the transaction fees from all the people paying to transact on the block. So those transaction fees are now going away 
and being burnt into the network. So the Ethereum inflation schedule is actually going to become deflationary as there will be less Ethereum on the network because they will be consistently burning Ethereum tokens, which creates a verifiable scarcity regarding Ethereum supply as the issuance schedule won't be deflationary. However, this is deflationary pressure on the Ethereum supply on the network. Less Ether to go around, period. The whole point is miners aren't happy. They made 700 million in February just in transaction fees. And as soon as this goes in effect, that is gone. It's an industrial play mining that is that takes years of sourcing equipment in spaces to farm and getting people to join the pool. With the EIP 1559, this is like the rug is being pulled out from under them. Mind you, they've had a while to see this coming and to adapt accordingly. This is a major development in terms of governance of decentralized networks with many stakeholders and a lot of money at play. In my honest opinion, when you think of precious metals like gold and silver and the play they have on each other, I want you to consider the stored value of Bitcoin and Ethereum respectively as a comparison to gold and silver. And with this new initiative, this becomes much more plausible. Again, thank you to all of our friends, viewers, and live trading community that have been benefiting along with us as our channel grows to over 7,000 subscribers. Remember, all the information being shared here is for entertainment and educational purposes. To keep on winning though, you need to keep on watching. Please like, comment, and smash that bell for notifications as this is Roger, Roger Chowdhury, Signing off for the BFN, the Business Financial Network. God bless.